Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your audio mixer to your USB audio interface. Today, we're using the Yamaha MG10 audio mixer, which has balanced quarter inch outputs and XLR outputs. The audio interface that we're going to use today is the Presonus AudioBox 22 VSL, but what I'm going to show you today will work on almost any USB audio interface. On this one, again, similar to the Yamaha console, we have combi jacks here which offer quarter inch inputs or XLR inputs. In this video, we also have two Shure SM58 microphones which will connect to the audio mixer and we'll show you how to prove that we're getting a stereo input all the way from the audio mixer to the USB audio interface to the computer into a recording. If you're curious about the pricing or the specs of anything in this video, please check out the description below. We do have some links so you can look up current pricing and availability of everything that you see in this video. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect the USB audio interface to our computer. On the back of the USB audio interface, we have a USB 2.0 output. Some USB audio interfaces have USB-C, so just make sure that you buy the right cable because not all interfaces come with the cable to connect it to your computer. This computer uses USB-C, so we're just going to use a USB 2.0 cable to connect it to the USB-C port on this computer. So when we connect it, you can see that this USB audio interface is bus powered, which means that it's getting all the power that it needs from the laptop. This little power light comes on here to prove that it's powered up. For both methods that we're going to connect the audio mixer to the USB audio interface, we will be sending a line level output. Everything that comes from an audio mixer will be a line level output. This is different than a mic level or different than an instrument level output. So what that means is we don't need any help from the preamp on this USB audio interface. So you can actually leave the volume for input one and input two turned all the way down, but you want the main output of the USB audio interface turned all the way up to 100%. The first way that I'm going to show you how to connect your audio mixer to your USB audio interface is by using balanced quarter inch cables. So with the mixer that we have today, we have two balanced quarter inch outputs. So I'm going to take this cable. You can tell it's a balanced quarter inch cable because there's two marks on it. So it's the tip, the ring, and the sleeve, also known as a TRS cable. So we're going to plug the first cable into the left output of the mixer and into input one on the USB audio interface. The next cable we're going to plug into the right output of the mixer and we're going to plug it into the second input of the USB audio interface. Right like that. So that will give us stereo sound. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect it again using XLR cables so you see how that works and then we'll show you how it works connecting the USB audio interface to the computer once we connect the microphones as well. So the next way that you can connect your audio mixer is using XLR. So we'll plug one XLR cable into the first output of the mixer and the second XLR cable into the input on the USB audio interface, into input one. The next XLR cable we'll plug into the right output of the audio mixer. And we'll plug it into the second input of the USB audio interface. Now just like the last time, we still want the volumes of each input turned all the way down. We're still sending a line level output from the mixer, so we don't need any help from the preamp, but we'll leave the main output all the way up on the USB audio interface. Next, we're going to connect two microphones to the audio mixer so we can show that we're getting stereo sound all the way to the computer. So the first microphone we'll connect into input one on the audio mixer, and the next microphone we'll connect into input two. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn the stereo output all the way up to this triangle position. That's also known as zero or unity. There may be a zero or a U on the mixer that you're using. They all say the same thing. We're also going to turn the level of the first microphone up to that same triangle position or zero or unity depending on your mixer. 
As we speak into this first microphone, you can see that we're not getting any level showing up on the meter. So I'm going to increase the gain here until that level comes up somewhere between minus six and zero. You can see right here, we're at a good point where we're just touching off zero. We're going to grab the second microphone and copy paste the same settings all the way up until we see that meter move up to that minus six or zero position, which I think we're getting a pretty good level there. Next, we're going to pan these. So the first microphone goes to the left. You can see there L for left and the right microphone, the second microphone will pan to the right. Now just to double check, as I speak into this first microphone, you can see the left side's moving. And as I speak into the second microphone, you can see that the right side is moving. So we're sending stereo sound from the audio mixer. Next, we're going to connect it to GarageBand on our laptop. So to keep things super simple, we're just going to use GarageBand. I'm going to start a new empty project. Then it will set up the project file here. And it detected the audio interface. So we're going to let it know that we want to use a microphone recording. And we want to use inputs 1 and 2 coming from the USB audio interface. We'll hit Create. Now as I speak into the first microphone, you can see the left side is moving there on the meter. And as I speak into the second microphone, you can see that the right side is moving there. So now I'm going to hit record so we can get a copy and so you can hear what it sounds like when all this is recorded in the computer. This is what the left microphone sounds like. This is what the right microphone sounds like. So that's how you would connect your audio mixer to a USB audio interface. Again, if you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video, we have some links in the description below so you can look up specs or current pricing. Or if you have any questions that you want to ask me, just leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.